food swaps. Eat this, not that. If you're excited for this food swap video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below if you haven't and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified of all of my new videos. I'm so excited to have you here because Mona has so much knowledge on nutrition. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Of course. <laughs> I have a doctorate in pharmacy. I used to work as a traditional pharmacist, but then I really kind of went the more holistic route. Um, I follow a plant-based diet like Ravana. And my whole thing is just little tips and tricks to make living healthy a part of your life so you don't have to work for it, you don't have to think about it. And once you start doing it, you're like, how was I living any other way? <laughs> Okay, so as you know, for today's video, it's gonna be a healthy vegan weight loss food swap. So if you're someone who is just trying to go vegan or just maybe start eating healthier and maybe you wanna lose some weight, then this video is for you, so keep watching. So many times I feel like we wanna just start eating healthier, but we have no idea what to eat. You want something to grab for, exactly. right? Exactly. But it's yeah. like these little staple foods that you kind of grow up eating and mm -hmm. you don't think anything of, now in 2018, there are so many cool alternatives and easy ways that will help your skin, help your waistline, help you lose weight in a healthy way and actually nourish you. So it's better than diet food. Exactly. You don't want like bad for you diet food. This is all nourishing food. Because it's not just like the benefit of losing weight, it's also nourishing your body. Yeah. So you get two in one, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so how about we start with chips? We all grew up eating chips and we see them everywhere and sometimes you just want like some crunchiness. So you just want something to munch on. We have some healthy options for you. These are some of my favorite crackers and they're basically just a mix of seeds. It's actually great for anyone who's interested in keto diet. I know that's a big thing right now. Mm -hmm. They're healthy fat. So if you're looking to add more healthy fats and eat a higher fat diet, this is a good one. These have a lot of flax seeds, which I really like because they're rich in omega-3 fatty acids yep. and they're very important. Another option is rice crackers. Rice cakes. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like people People find these like they can be boring but when you're eating them with a healthy dip like a mashed avocado exactly or some salsa you don't even notice all you want is a crunch try not to focus so much on something that's unhealthy and just use this for the crunch and have the healthy dip be like the flavor some more like very much healthier options are veggie chips so here we have some cucumber chips and you get so much crunch out of cucumber so much hydration and they're actually sweet next is rice most people go for the plain white rice and we have some substitutes. The first one is quinoa which is very rich in plant-based protein. It's a much better option to rice because it has so many more nutrients. And fiber. Fiber is really yes. big on keeping you full and keeping everything moving along. It helps detox you. A lot of times when toxins build up, that can hold weight and it's not really weight, it's just a little bit of extra toxin. It so is. more fiber can help clean everything out. Another very healthy option is cauliflower. So you make cauliflower rice and what you do is you basically just grate your cauliflower. Another easier way to do it, like faster way to do it is with a food processor. And kind of think of rice the same way as chips. Like it's probably uh, less likely that you're just eating a bowl of rice on its own. It's usually just like the base of a stew or like something else. So when you have substitutions like this, you just won't even notice. Okay, so you basically just go on and grate it and we get rice. We got some rice. Got some cauliflower rice. Yes, as you can see. Okay, tortillas. A lot of people eat flour tortillas or the wraps. You know, sometimes we see them in the store and we see like spinach wraps and we think that they're healthy. When they say spinach wrap or they say veggie wrap, all they do is infuse like a little bit of spinach in there and then they, but it's almost like eating white rice with like a little spinach and saying it's spinach rice. It's still rice, so the no, wrap is still a wrap. I know. So let's, we've got some healthy alternatives so that we don't get fooled by the marketing. The healthy options are obviously, the healthiest is collard greens. Mm -hmm. So anything that's that rich in colors, full of antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, amazing for your skin. Another one is coconut wraps. So they must so, be good. They're so good. It's literally just coconut and they're wrapped. Oh, this one. 
I was munching on so it. So many good options. <laughs> yes, okay. there are so many good options. Also remember healthy fats are great for a boost of energy. So instead of a coffee crash, if you have something like just coconut, you're gonna get yes. a good sustained boost of energy. And it's also a really healthy fat. If you wanna make it a little Asian, you can wrap everything in a nori wrap. Mm -hmm. So here we have some nori wraps. Yeah. Finally, I have these. They're basically just made out of like seeds. Let's talk about oils. A lot of people eat canola oil. They use canola oil in their house. Like, no. Canola oil is so bad for you. It can cause liver damage, kidney damage. There's that, and these are all like scientific studies. This isn't just like hearsay or guessing. There's even data that shows that in kids, it can stunt their growth. I would really, really just completely avoid canola oil, soybean oil, and stick to these on the list. So we have some olive oil. Olive oil, it's better if you eat it cold. Mm -hmm. Here we have some options of the ones that you can cook, yes. but this is much better just eaten raw because it's not great when you cook it. When you cook olive oil and you heat it, it can turn into a trans fat, which is unhealthier. So what you wanna do is just like use this for cold salads or even like if you want to add a dip or something. If you're going to cook, definitely uh, coconut oil yep. is going to be one of your best options because it doesn't heat at high temperatures. Mm -hmm. And then another one that I do uh, cook with is avocado. So if you're not wanting to use too much oil, you can just spray on veggies that you're putting into like the oven or You know what that's great for? If you slice up what? potatoes on a pan and put some avocado oil and bake them, it's like the wow. healthiest french fries ever. Oh my God. Right? And you bake them at like 425, you'll thank me. Now let's talk about flour. White flour, out. The big no. Yes. Just accept it, mourn its loss, and let's just move on from white flour, okay? Please, let's right. move on from it. There are so many healthy options, but one of my favorite is almond flour, uh, coconut flour, buckwheat flour. Oh, flour. Oh. Cool thing is sometimes this can get a little pricey, but what you can do is take your own almonds or you take your own oats and just blend them really fine and you literally make your own flour. So it's actually as easy as that too. Or even oats. like. Mm -hmm take rolled oats and you just blend them up. I do that for pancakes all the yeah. time. So I'm basically eating oatmeal in the shape of a pancake, which is kind of amazing. Yeah. Dairy. Cut dairy out of your life. Another no. It's the best, yeah, it's just no. It's not good for your digestion, for your health. It doesn't really do anything for you. It causes also, um, it's acidic on your body, which causes inflammation. And inflammation, which is kind of a form of bloating can just look like fat and present as fat. Oh, I used to love yogurt, so substituting that with coconut yogurt is a great option. Now, soy sauce has a lot of sodium, which makes you retain liquids, and this is not good when you're trying to lose weight. <laughs> Especially because if you notice the, the serving size is like a half a teaspoon or something for yes, all that sodium, exactly. and we're usually like pouring it on a stir fry. <laughs> So we have to find alternatives. So one of them is tamari, which has, this one has 50% less sodium. It's great. Another one is coconut aminos. It's one of my favorites. It's a little more on the sweeter side, mm -hmm. but it's a great alternative. And then we have this. Liquid yes. aminos. This is great because it tastes like soy, but it's not soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Let's do the noodles. Everyone loves noodles. Noodles right. are just the best like consistency, They're, even though they taste like nothing. So the, yeah. point, the point is, it's just how they feel. <laughs> There's no reason to not eat what we want. It's just finding the substitutes. Okay, so one are these millet and brown rice ramen noodles. So if you wanna make ramen or just like an Asian pasta, this is great. And they're literally just made out of organic millet rice flour, brown rice flour, and organic rice flour. Cool. It has no sodium, eight grams of protein per serving size, and literally like no fat. Another one is kelp noodles. For those of you that have them around, kelp noodles are so healthy for you. They're really good for you. They're very rich in iodine, which is a mineral that we need. Mm -hmm. And they literally have like no calories too. Honestly, when these, when you soak them in whatever sauce you're making them in, yes. they get soft. It really tastes like spaghetti. Another option is zucchini. So you can make zucchini noodles with a little device like this one that is called a spiralizer. If you don't have a spiralizer, you don't want to buy one, then you can get this peeler. This peeler is different because it's not like a normal peeler. I'll show you right now. So it makes strips, and if you separate them, it's like noodles. And the other option is using a spiralizer. So you basically just take your zucchini and 
Over here we have delicious noodles. Now let's talk about sweeteners. So many people still use sugar or brown sugar, which is exactly the same thing. I know, I think people think because brown rice is healthier than brown, but it's not. <laughs> brown no. sugar isn't good either. No, it's literally just colored and it's like white sugar. So for that, we have some options here. The first one is maple syrup. Like 100% pure maple syrup. Like exactly. When it's in its natural state, remember it's retaining its health benefits. It's almost like when you take like an Aunt Jemima or something, Oh, yeah. You're taking any goodness that was in that food, you're just kind of like stripping it out and then giving exactly. you the worst of it. So if you can eat something in its natural form, you'll get the health benefits. Because it's not just looking at ingredients or food in the supermarket and being like, oh, that's that's maple syrup, then I'll just use that. No, right. it's like actually looking in the back, turning it around and looking at the ingredients. What does it have? Another one is coconut nectar. Honestly, if I had to pick one, this is the best sweetener. Mm. Um, it's very low glycemic index, mm -hmm. which means your blood sugar isn't gonna raise as quickly, and that spike in blood sugar is what you wanna avoid. Mm -hmm. And it's full of minerals, nutrients. It's actually really good for you. Another one is a monk fruit. Basically just a, a monk fruit. Like it comes out of the monk fruit and they make it into a sugar and it's super sweet. It and has no sugar, no sugar right. and no calories. And another one that I really like is just stevia. Mm -hmm. uh, stevia drops. So this is literally just stevia extracted. I like to have this in my purse when, for when sometimes, once in a while, I feel like something sweet. I just like drink a tea and then put some stevia drops and I have like a little Dessert. So that's it for our food swaps. Uh, let us know in the comments what substitutions you have. Like there's so many that obviously that we did not mention and so many more options. So if you have any suggestions, please let us know in the comments below so that we can create a conversation and just learn from each other because I want to know what your food swaps are. So where can they find you? Um, you guys can find me across the board, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. It's at Dr. Mona Vant, it's Dr. Mona Vant. Definitely follow her, subscribe to her channel. She has amazing information. I love her videos. Also, if you are a person that needs to lose 10 or more pounds, then I definitely recommend that you download my 21 day weight loss and self love challenge. It's all meal prep based. All the recipes are fiber and less ingredients, all plant based. And I will leave you guys the link below to where you can check it out. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.